In this demonstration, we are going to explore how to create a custom coupling for use inside of a Civil 3D pressure network. Before we begin, it is worth noting that a Civil 3D pressure network part is to comprise of three key aspects, including a single combined solid representing the part, a single polyline representing the centre line for root of flow, and any connection points so that Civil 3D pressure pipes can begin or terminate. As you can see, we already have our combined solid representing our coupling and a polyline representing the root of flow. All we now need is to include two connection points, one for a high density polyethylene pipe to connect to, the other for a ductile iron flanged connection. We do this by going to the Insert tab on the ribbon and selecting Insert under the Connection Point panel. Now Civil 3D prompts the user to select the AutoCAD solid. Select a location for the point to be inserted and identify two points defining the direction of the connection. Civil 3D will then insert a connection point block as per our instructions. Repeat the process for as many connection points as the part requires. For our example, we simply have two. Before we continue, it is important to ensure our DWG file is set to the correct units of measurement by inputting units into the command line. For metric parts, ensure this is set to millimetres or inches for imperial measurements depending on your region. Now that we are happy our geometry is set up correctly and we have the right units, it is a good idea to save our progress. For a civil 3D pressure network to use our custom component, we need to export the geometry to a .content file. This is done by inputting publish part content into the command line. From here, we need to select our 3D solid which will momentarily disappear, allowing for the user to then select the polyline. We then need to select millimetres as the measuring unit, aligned to our DWG's units, and subsequently select our part type. We can select from 11 part types. For this example, we shall select the second option as we are creating a custom coupling. Civil 3D will now prompt the user to select a suitable location for the outputted file, whether it be on a local PC, centralised server, or cloud storage facility. Our part is now ready to be used inside of a Civil 3D pressure network. In order for us to use our custom components inside of Civil 3D, we must first compile and configure the parts inside of the Content Catalog Editor. The Content Catalog Editor can be found inside the folder of the Civil 3D installation on the Start menu. The application uses SQLite databases, so we can either open a previously created library or start afresh. We're going to add a new part to our library by right-clicking Coupling and selecting Import Part. Here we shall select the first option, importing a .content file, and navigate to where this is stored. Under the Part Type options, we must select an industry from the drop-down menu, select a part type, and enter a new or select an existing part family name. We then move on to the model properties where we can identify the type, which in this case is a coupling, a material for the part, and add a unique description so that our component can be clearly distinguishable. Additionally, we can add further information such as pressure data and the manufacturer, but this is optional. We then come to the final menu, which is for the connection points. This menu reads the connection points added inside of the Civil 3D DWG file. What a user is to define here is the information relating to the connections and the expected pipe sizes. We can define the joint type. In the case of our coupling, we have two types of pipe jointing, mechanical and flanged. 
All the user then needs to do is input the pipe internal and outer diameters so that Civil 3D knows what corresponding pipe is to be used with that part. Once a user is happy with the inputted values, they can then click on the finish button and the new part will be included inside the SQLite file. Beyond adding custom parts, Users can also define custom pipe sizes, be it region or manufacturer specific. The menu is accessed by right clicking pipe and selecting import part. For pipe creation, users will want to select the without dot content file option. Here users can define the industry, part type and the family name they want the part to be categorized under. Inside the model properties, Users can define the outside diameter, the pipe type, the wall thickness, the material, and a unique description making the pipe distinguishable. Like the parts, users can add further information such as pipe coating, pressure data, and so on. Finally, users can define the pipe connection types such as mechanical, flanged, welded and more and then include the expected connection sizes including pipe internal and outer diameter and wall thickness. Clicking on the finish button will add the new pipe size to the catalogue. To use our custom pressure parts and pipes inside a Civil 3D, we must first point the application to the SQLite database. This is done by going to the Home tab on the ribbon, selecting the Create Design drop-down menu and selecting the Set Pressure Network Catalog. Here, a user needs to navigate to the folder where the custom catalogs are stored, be it hosted on a local desktop, server or cloud storage system. Once the folder has been identified, all the SQLite files stored in that location will appear in the drop-down menu below. Now that the user has pointed Civil 3D to the correct database, they can start inserting the components into a parts list. This is accessed via the settings pane, pressure network and parts list. A user can either amend an existing or create a new parts list. Under the information tab, Civil 3D allows users to further load and unload other SQLite files. This means that if users or organisations have segregated their catalogues, depending on things like materials or manufacturers, a pressure network inside a Civil 3D can use a combination of these, as most networks will include a variety of materials and manufacturers for components. Users can also give their parts list a unique name and assign a description. Under the Pressure Pipes tab, by right-clicking the New Part List and selecting Add Material, Users are able to add any of the pipes found inside of the linked SQLite file or files. Once the pressure pipe materials have been added, users must subsequently add the pipe sizes they want by right-clicking the material and selecting Add Sizes. As you can see, Civil 3D has brought in the custom pipe sizes that were created inside of the Content Catalog Editor. Underneath the Fittings tab, we can add parts such as elbows, tees and crosses. If we add the couplings from the materials and subsequently add all the sizes, our custom coupling that we previously created will now appear in the list. Parts lists can be created centrally for use within an organisation and can be contained inside of a reference DWG file, template file or produced on an ad hoc basis during a project. Once a part has been created, added to the Content Catalog Editor and imported into a Pressure Network Parts list, it is now ready to be used inside of a Pressure Network. To create a Pressure Network, a user needs to go to the Pipe Network drop-down inside the Home tab on the ribbon and select Pressure Network Creation Tools. From here, a user needs to assign the Pressure Network a name, assign a run name if applicable, Select the custom parts list previously created, select a default pipe material and size, define layer defaults, add any reference objects such as alignments and surfaces, and assign label defaults. The user can now start modelling the components. As we can see, the custom coupling previously created is available in the Add Fitting drop-down menu. 
The user can select the location for this fitting and subsequently add the correct pipe materials and sizes for either side of the coupling. If we then view our components in 3D, we can now see a realistic representation of a flanged mechanical coupling complete with correctly sized ductile iron and polyethylene pipes.